it's time for another week in fragrance, which at this point is more like this month in fragrance or every other month in fragrance. And this week in fragrance is a good one. We've got new fragrances from Hugo Boss, a new fragrance in the, the scent line. We've got two new Emporio Armani fragrances for men, one a relaunch, the other a new flanker in the Stronger With You line, a new Gucci Guilty as well. Now that one, maybe that one doesn't hold up as well as the, the others, but a new Gucci Guilty, and a new Zoologist, and a new Zadig and Voltaire. Lots of stuff. Hey friends, Ash here with Chinsense. Hope you're doing really well. Like I said, it's time for another This Week in Fragrance, which is where I'm gonna talk to you guys and go over upcoming releases. I'm gonna go over the notes with you guys, show you the presentation, let you know whether or not I'm personally excited for it, and you in the comments below can let me know if you're excited for it. So let's jump into this. Let me hit you guys with the call to action. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the bell. And when you do that, then you can watch more fragrance videos. The first fragrance I wanna to talk to you guys about is from Emporio Armani. It's Emporio Armani He, and it's a relaunch. There's actually two of these. There's Emporio Armani She and He, and the bottles are kind of interesting in that they fit, they fit together when you put them together. So the original version of this fragrance was launched back in 1998. Apparently it was discontinued sometime in the 2010s, at least according to Fragrantica, though it is still readily found at discounters and actually in bunches of stores. Now, just because it is readily found though, does not mean that it wasn't discontinued. They could just have tons of old stock that they're still working through. Let me go ahead and read some information from the brand here to fill you in on the fragrance. Armani is returning these as favorites of many, the fragrances, to the market at the end of 2020 in signature but lighter bottles with 70% less plastic. Cool. I'll really quickly run through the notes of Emporio Armani She, but I realize that most of my audience is men, so I'm gonna just really quickly go through this one. It has a top of pear and citruses, a mid of heliotrope, jasmine, cardamom, and angelica, and a base of white musk, cedar, amber, vanilla, and almond. Now the men's version, Emporio Armani He 2020, is a sensual oriental woody eau de toilette inspired by contemporary masculinity. The composition with a natural radiant blend of Japanese yuzu, sage, and cardamom also contains precious woody notes and warm musk. As a top of Japanese yuzu, cardamom, and sage, a mid of orris root, nutmeg, and rose, and a base of white musk, vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka. Now some really quick thoughts about this fragrance before we move on. Like I mentioned before, the original was discontinued, but you can still find it at discounters, but the price has risen. It goes for about 80 bucks now, and in years past, you could find it more in the $35, $40 range. And that is something that does happen when a discontinued fragrance starts to run low in terms of the uh, back stock, the old stock, it will shoot up in price before it's completely gone. When you look at the note breakdown of this new one versus the original one, they are very similar, very similar. But I would imagine that they're going to modernize it. It would be really surprising to me if they took a discontinued fragrance that wasn't selling well enough to continue being made by Emporio Armani, and then they just relaunch it the exact same way that it was originally years later and expect it to take off. Now, it could be wrong. Maybe they are doing that and they just want it to fail, but I imagine it's gonna be modernized. Okay, next up, let's talk about the new Gucci Guilty Love Edition 2021. Oh boy, another Guilty Flanker. Obviously, this follows the Gucci Guilty Love Edition flanker, so now we have a flanker of a flanker, everybody's favorite. Gucci Guilty Love Edition 2021, Pour Homme, is a modern masculine creation that opens with invigorating Italian lemon, white florals with honey tones and rich notes of orange blossom absolute and French lavender. Completing this modern expression of sensuality and mystery is sophisticated patchouli, which develops with hints of leather, green, woodiness, and incense-like qualities. 
The dry down is intensified with the masculine richness of cedarwood. So on this one, I'm kind of torn on the bottle. Part of me thinks it looks really cool, and then part of me thinks it looks terrible. In general, I'm not overly excited about Gucci Guilty Flankers because I've seen so many of them come and just kind of flop and not really get my attention, but I've got my hopes up. I'm hoping it turns out to be a solid springtime fragrance, maybe shakes things up a little bit. I've got, I've got high hopes, I really do. So we'll see. Then also just a quick kind of reminder, if uh, you collect these things, Lamal does have their special Christmas edition, their holiday edition out right now. So you could scoop that up if you want, but it is ultimately just Lamal in a different bottle. Okay, let's keep this going. Up next, let's talk about the brand new Hugo Boss Descent Pure Accord. And this one, I've actually already ordered it. The glamorous duo of new Boss The Scent Pure Accord fragrances is a new take on seduction in which the boss man and woman engage in a sensual game of equals. Closer than ever, boss man and woman share tenderness and mystery, reflected in the vibrant sensual notes of two Boss The Scent Pure Accord Eau de Toilette fragrances. Boss The Scent Pure Accord for Helm explores a new take on seduction. This spicy perfume for men pushes fulfillment to the max, sparking the senses with notes of vivifying ginger, exotic menenka fruit, and sensual white suede. Boss the Scent Pure Accord Eau de Toilette for Men opens with a life-giving ginger that blends seamlessly into the hearty note of exotic menenka fruit. The unique base note of sensual white suede takes the fragrance to a whole new olfactory level, creating the perfect balance of warmth and light. And then the ladies' fragrance has top notes of bergamot, uh, heart of osmanthus, and a base of musk. Like I said, I am psyched, psyched for this fragrance. Already ordered it, love the line. Really, 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 really interested to see how this one goes. I love the coloration on the bottle. I think it looks awesome. I love the idea of taking the scent and moving it kind of in a different direction. Most of the flankers to this point have been more about darkness, and richness and kind of pushing things much further down that, you know, fall, winter, cool weather path. And I love those fragrances, but I mean, you've got the scent intense, the scent private accord, which introduced uh, coffee. You have parfum edition, which is really nice as well with the iris. You have the scent absolute, all these fragrances you would use in pretty much the same situations. So with this one, I'm very interested to see how it plays out. Just ginger, meninka, white suede. At least that's all they're giving us right now. It wouldn't surprise me if in the future they release a, a more comprehensive note breakdown, but this is something that we see more often nowadays where they give you just one, maybe two notes for the top, mid, and bass. So now we've got the Scent Pure Accord. Can't wait to get this one in the mail. And up next, let's talk about the new Emporio Armani Stronger With You, absolutely. Can't be absolute, has to be absolutely, just like intensely. Uh, but then there was freeze, which is just kind of odd one out. Stronger With You absolutely is described as the strongest fragrance of this collection. Sensual, passionate, and seductive. This oriental eau de parfum relies on a classic fougere composition, expanded with fruity floral elements and a subdued woody base. The composition begins with a rum accord, mixed with sparkling bergamot and resinous elemi in the top. The heart is dominated by a lavender from southern France. Devana joins in and gives the fragrance depth and a special sweet note. Some earthy and spicy components are rounded off by Madagascar vanilla and patchouli. So here's the full note breakdown. In the top, bergamot, rum, and elemi. In the mid, lavender and Devana. And in the base, glazed chestnut, cedar, vanilla, and patchouli. I like the bottle here. It looks really slick. Actually, it might be my favorite looking bottle out of the entire bunch of Stronger With You fragrances, at least based off of what they're showing us in the uh, promotional material. And also, if this is truly the strongest fragrance in the Stronger With You line, in terms of projection, in terms of longevity, this one is going to be a beast. It's gonna last forever, it's gonna project very heavily. 
if what they're saying is true. It keeps the chestnut note in there, the glazed chestnut, so that's gonna tie it in with all the other fragrances in the line. This one also introduces a boozy rum note in the top and some patchouli in the base. I am very, very intrigued. This one, just like the scent Pure Accord, I'm really looking forward to. Definitely wanna get my hands on this as soon as possible. Up next, let's talk about the new Zoologist fragrance, Snowy Owl. And this one kind of goes hand in hand with musk deer. This one has a top of snow, lily of the valley, mint, and coconut, a mid of iris, snowdrop, white rose, mate, frankincense, and galbanum, and a base of ambrette, cedar, civet, musk, oak moss, tonka, and vanilla. Of course, I did a review of musk deer on the channel. If you haven't seen that for any reason, just search in YouTube, so I'll just musk deer. Very solid fragrance. Really nice, very wearable. I'm looking forward to Snowy Owl a lot. And actually, this is a fragrance that I've seen people request over and over and over and over for uh, Zoologist to do, or an animal that's been requested for them to make a fragrance after, I should say. So I know that there are a bunch of people that are gonna be really hyped to get this one, and it's one that I also would like to get my nose on. Sounds really intriguing. And the last fragrance I'm gonna talk to you guys about today is from Zadig and Voltaire, and it is called This Is Us. Now, of course, this is Helm from Zadig and Voltaire. Got a good amount of hype. It's a very solid fragrance. Doesn't cost a whole bunch of money. This Is Us, kind of a follow-up to that in a way. This Is Us is made as a unisex fragrance, hence the name. So this is really made for everybody. The note breakdown is enormously simple. So it wouldn't surprise me if a lot is missing from this. As of now, it's showing sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and musk as the note breakdown, and interestingly enough, those four notes are typically just used as bass notes. So that note breakdown doesn't really tell us a whole lot. As of right now, all we know is that it's unisex, and it's got at least those four notes. That said, Zadig and Voltaire, very solid for the price. So once this pops up at discounters, I'll try to scoop it up. So there we go, guys. Another week in fragrance. It's been a while, but finally, we've got some new things to talk about. Let me know in the comments below which of these fragrances you personally are most interested in checking out. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.